Hi everyone, dear students. I would like to discuss basic concepts in the network analysis. Network analysis is the one of the important subjects since the concepts of this one useful for in the other subjects also. And uh, relatively, when compared other subjects, this is one of the scoring subject. In this subject here. Initially only you will find little difficulty. Later, if you practice the more number of questions, you can easily get the solutions. Dear students, in this session, I would like to discuss some problems on the nodal analysis. Nodal analysis is a one of the important one of the, one of the important concept since with the help of the nodal analysis only, you can easily get the solutions in the theorem problems, transients in the two-port network. Frequently in the exam also, they are focusing on the parallel circuits. For parallel circuits, you can easily develop the equations with help of the nodal analysis. Now, let us take one simple example. In the nodal analysis, the procedure is the first to how to identify head the first step. Now, here the first step is the identify total number of principal nodes in the network. Again, if you come to the node, in the nodes also, in the node also, two types of nodes are bench. One is a simple node, other one is a principal node. Let us see what is the difference between the simple node and the principal node. If two elements are connected together, if you come to this example, 1 ohm and 4 volts. If two elements are connected together, this common point is called as a simple node. In the branch 2, 1 ohm and 2 volts. If two elements are connected together, then the common point is called as a simple node. Now in the branch 3, now this is a simple node. Come to the second example. Now other one is a principal node. If more than two elements are connected together, then the common point is called as a principal node. Here, now this is one principal node and this is another principal node. If more than two elements are connected in this example, 1 ohm, 1 ohm and 3 ohms, these three are connected together here. It is called the principal node. In writing the KCL equation, in writing our KCL equation, every time we concentrate only on these principal nodes. At the principal node, current division is a present. Come to the second step. Now assign the voltage at each node. In this example, let us take the node voltage as a V1. Let us take the node voltage as a V2. After assigning the voltages, select any one of the nodes as a reference node. In this example, I am taking the V2 as a reference node. Always reference node potential should be equal to ground potential. Ground potential means its value equal to 0. V2 equal to 0. Come to the third step. And the third step is a, we have to derive the KCL equation at each non-reference node. In this example here, V1 is a non-reference node. You have to derive the KCL equation there. KCL. And the last step is a, by solving KCL equations, now we can find out the load voltage. Then let us see how the KCL equation can be developed. Just now we concluded, now this one principal node. Here we named it as a node voltage V1, V2, V2 potential equal to 0. Now with respect to ground potential, with respect to ground potential, polarity at this one is a plus because V1 is a higher potential. In the nodal analysis, while well, writing the KCL equation, here the assumption is a, always treat the node voltage as the greater, node voltage is greater when compared to all other voltages. That means in this example, every time you have to take this V1 voltage, V1 voltage as a higher potential, V1 voltage is a higher potential. Now let us write the equation here. Now correspond to branch 1, plus 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 plus, similar polarities are connected in the branch 1. In the branch 1, if you want to conclude the current here, you want to conclude current here. Current goes from the higher potential to lower potential. 
similar one is subtraction v1 minus 4 v1 minus 4 by what the respect ratio is the one one respect ratio is the one one come to the branch 2 in the branch 2 plus minus dissimilar parodies are connected then what the net voltage of this branch is a net voltage net voltage this branch is a addition v1 plus 2 ratio is the one now it is outgoing current and it is also outgoing current come to the branch 3 in the data itself given here 2 amperes is the incoming current 2 amperes is the incoming current sum of outgoing currents equal sum of incoming currents we developed the KCL equation here now by solving this one we get the v1 value here to understand easy way I have taken very simple numerical values in this example now we get the v1 is equal to 2 volts come to the one more point here let us see the total number of equations the general formula for total number of equations is n minus 1 here the meaning of n is a total number of principal nodes just now we discussed here how many principal nodes are there 2 2 minus 1 that means here how many equations are required only one equation come to the one more example in this example our requirement is a find the minimum number of equations to get the node voltages let us check it out in the previous slide we discussed one point total number of equations equal to n minus 1 let us see how many nodes are there in this one now here this is a node 1 and a node 2 node 3 and the node 4 Now total number of fingers is n minus 1, 4 minus 1 equal to how many equations here? 3 equations. But in the given example, he is asking the minimum number of equations. You have to focus on this word very carefully. Minimum number of equations. Let's check it out here. In this example, node voltage, let us name this one as V1. Node voltage, let us name this one as V2. Node voltage, let us name this one as V3. Potential difference between V1 and ground, V1 and ground is equal to Vs1. Potential difference between V2 and ground is equal to Vs2. But here V3 value we cannot conclude directly. Reason is a resistance also present in this branch. If you want to find the V3 value, you have to find the V3 value, you have to have the KCL equation at the node 3. By developing KCL equation only here. By telling case equation only here, we can find out the V3 value. But here, to find out the V1, we haven't developed any KCL equation. For V2 also, we haven't developed any KCL equation. Only we need a KCL equation for the node 3. In the given example, whenever they ask the minimum number of equations, concentrate on the actual KCL equations. Then in this particular example, how many actual KCL equations are required? Only one equation. Only one equation is sufficient. That's why here for this model of questions, read the question very carefully. Suppose in this example, he is asking the only equations. Now, this is the correct answer. Equations are the three. But if you come across the minimum number of equations, concentrate the actual case equations. Here, how many actual case equations? Only one equation. Come to the next example. Dear students, in our subject on flexibility is present. The same problem you can go solve by using multiple methods. You can go for the any reduction technique, or you can go for the KVL, or you can go for the KCL, or you can apply any one of the theorem. So many methods are there. Every time while we'll solving the problem, you get a common doubt here. Then which method you have to apply? That you can able to identify only based on the practice. That's why here, dear students, remember one point is that uh, whenever you are doing the revision for especially for problems don't see the solution immediately first concentrate only on the question apply your own thoughts it will be correct or incorrect first apply your own thoughts spend minimum at least five to ten minutes time later go for the solution with that one what will happen whenever you are applying your own thoughts you can able to work your own thinking power in the examination even though if any modifications are done you can able to solve it very confidently but the many students, what they do to save the time, immediately they see the solution. If you see the solution, at that moment you will feel very happy. 
but later if you come across any modifications in the problem you cannot solve very confidently that's why dear students for every question after applying your thoughts only focus on the solution come to the next example in the next example i in include one dependent source also for the many students they give simple statement as a sir mujhe dependent source dekhe to thoda dar lagta hai you are getting fear means reason is a on that particular topic you are not doing the many problems if you work out the dependence problems more you can easily eliminate all your fears dear students remember one point as a whichever topic you are finding difficulty on that particular topic only work out the more number of questions gradually your your confidence level is increases <coughs> Of this one. In this example, I included one uh, voltage dependent voltage source. I included one voltage dependent voltage source. Now again, let us see procedure how the equation can be developed here. As we discussed earlier, first identify the total number of principal nodes in the network. Now this one principal node and this is another principal node. Now let us name the voltage of this point as a V1. Voltage V1 and voltage at this point, at this point is a V2. V2 potential equal to zero. <coughs> Let us write the equation. With respect to ground potential, the what the polarity at this point is a plus. Current goes from the higher potential to lower potential. Come to the branch one. V1 by how is 3 and 2 both are connected? The series V1 by 5. Come to branch two. Similar polarities are connected. Subtraction V one minus three resistance is the one. Come to the branch three. Similar polarities are connected. Subtraction V one minus four V naught. V one minus four V naught by resistance is the five. We develop the KCL equation. But if you observe this equation very carefully here, in this equation two unknowns are there. One is the V one value. What about other one is the V naught? From single equation, we cannot get the two unknown values. Then let us see how that second equation can be developed here. In this particular example, <coughs> in this particular example here, if you come to the branch one, this three ohms and two ohms, three ohms and two ohms are connected in the series. The series combination is connected in parallel, in parallel to the branch two. In the branch two, voltage across this entire branch branch two is a V one. The same V one is present for the branch branch one also. <coughs> this V one voltage distributed between three ohms and the two ohms. To relate this V naught and V one value, let us apply the voltage division technique. Here the, we can write this method: V naught equal to V naught equal to total voltage for this entire branch one. Total voltage is a V one value. V one value. Multiply the similar resistance. Now V naught is a voltage across the two ohm resistance by total resistance. Now we got the two equations. But in our given question, what is asking the our main focus is finding the V naught value. Now by substituting V naught value, by substitute V naught value in this uh, equation one, by simplifying this one. First, we get the V1 value. Later, here with the help of the equation two, with the help of the equation two, we get the V0. Get the V0 value. Dear students, in the next session, I will discuss some more problems on the network analysis. And uh, dear students, if you have the any doubts, I am available in the Telegram channel. Our Made Easy created a separate groups. For electrical branch and electronics branch. In the electronics branch, I am available morning from nine to ten. In the electrical branch, I am available from eleven to twelve. You can post your doubts. I'll give the response. Stay at home. Stay safe. Good luck. Thank you very much.